Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can enable guidelines, grids or rulers whatever you like to call it in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. Now it might seem pretty obvious to go to the preview and click on these three dots and enable it but it's not available in DaVinci Resolve like it is in Premiere Pro. So what you have to do is just go to the effects tab on the top left of your screen then go to open effects and here by clicking on this magnifying glass search for grid. Once you have it just drag and drop it over any clip you want and there you have it the grid has been enabled but the problem here is that if you want the grid for the whole timeline it won't happen because we just dragged and dropped the grid over this particular clip so it will get enabled only for that clip so if you want the grid over your whole timeline what you have to do is first of all let me disable or delete this grid so just go to the effects tab and here you can either disable or straight up delete the grid so if you want the grid over your whole timeline just go to the effects tab i'll just delete this and bring in the adjustment clip over all your clips make sure that the adjustment clip is above all of your clips and to the whole length of the timeline once you have the adjustment clip in place again go back to open fx and here search for grid and again drag and drop the grid but this time over the adjustment clip and there we have it the grid is here and it is available for every single clip in your timeline now once you have the grid you can customize the grid because of the longer process the winch resolve has compensated that by giving us a whole lot of customization which you can enable by clicking on adjustment clip and going to the effects tab up here on the top right and there you have it now how you can do that let me show you row cells and column cells so let's say you want just three rows so what you can do is here select it and press on three hit enter and there you have it one two three same for columns if you want three columns click on three hit enter and you have a three by three grid that's how easy it is now once you have this grid you can also change the color of the grid lines you can change it to any color you want for now i'll just go with white then you can change the horizontal line width this is the horizontal line right so you can change the width then again you can change the vertical line width like this major line width and yeah a whole lot of stuff right here which you can do and let's go to the important things this is the global blend right just click on it and this is basically the opacity of the grid lines right so you can change it from here to whatever coordinates you want and you can also change it by going to the video tab and then change the opacity from here whatever you like now once you have the grid in place how you can enable and disable the clip let's say you're done with the grid the job of the grid is done you want to disable it so just click on it and press on d that's how you can disable it and if you want it again press on d again and it will get enabled that's how you can switch the visibility of the grid just by pressing d again and again and it's not just applicable to the adjustment clip it's just a basic rule in the venture result to just enable and disable any clip that you want just press d and d that's how simple it is and also if you want the grid in fusion page all you have to do is simply right click go to guides and click on show guides and you get a different type of grid but it does the work for you so yeah, that's how you can enable grids, customize them and enable or disable them in your timeline in the Venture Resolve. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope this video helps you. And if it does, make sure you like the video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also share this video with your friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel. I post such how to tech videos, tech reviews. I stream games occasionally and I put out some informative and knowledgeable YouTube shots occasionally. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.